Now we're at Kelly's Island. I wonder what we'll find here. They have golf carts you can run. Rosie, you enjoying the rain? You enjoying the rain? A little rainier today, isn't it? Been mostly rainy today on Kelly's Island. Not a lot to do. But Now we're at the Glacial Grooves. These were supposed to be cut 10,000 years ago. Ow! There's my daughter Rose. Open this, Daddy! Oh. These are the steps going up to the grooves. And there's some marks for blasting. Here's the Kelly Island Glacial Grooves. It's about 450 feet long, 30 feet wide, and 15 feet deep. Interesting, this groove tends to turn back from the rest of the groove pattern. More views of the glacial grooves. Here's the sign of the Kelly Island Historical Association Museum and Gift Shop. There's a nature walk right behind the Kelly Island Museum. The museum from the trailhead. Looks like someone just kind of runs their lawnmower through here once a week or so. On the nature trail, there's information about monarch butterflies. Yet another one of these, these bugs that you see a lot on the island, and he just won't move. No matter how close you get the camera to him, he's he just, just not going to, to leave. He loves these little creatures are everywhere in the morning. Now this is an awesome place of a fire pit. Imagine being here in the cool evening with a campfire overlooking Lake Erie. Here's a three bedroom house right on the lake. Call Jason Smith if you're interested. I'm sure he'll be happy to help you out. Usually don't see signs like this very often. Here's the runway for Kelly's Island. The Kelly Island Terminal. North and south, and east and west runways. North Pond on the north side of the island. Let's check it out. Seems to be quite a walk down to the, to the pond. Hey, they got a boardwalk. This isn't North Pond. I must have made a wrong turn. But it sure is pretty out here. Looks like North Pond isn't actually a pond, but it's really just a wetland. This is an observation platform that he builds so you can see the panorama of, of nature's beauty. And kayaking on the lake. Hey, Dad. Hey. Oh. The state park has a most wonderful public beach. Huh? <laughs> they have a loop trail. Abandoned structure on the trail. Next to play on. Here's the Kelly Island State Park campground, which is a really cool, cool lake view. And this is a campground. Great place for bicycling. Our campsite. Clean bathroom and shower facilities place to dry the towels. Campfires. Dangerous or not? The street is this really cool store where you can get all the camping stuff you need. Uncle Dick's. Cool clothing. Food. 
for those camping necessities. And don't forget the ice cream. Even answering questions. Oh. My kids designed the sign at Uncle Dick's Island Outfitters. Ice cream run. <laughs> Look at that smiling face. Interesting abandoned areas on the island. Here's a picture of the winery before it burned down. I found this picture in the, in the Kelly Island Museum. Nothing nicer than taking a ride with an old friend. So here's the uh, place where they take the uh, stuff out for the mine that's closed. It would have been cool to have the boat behind them. And a marina. And they have charters for fishing trips. Also contact the Chamber of Commerce directly if you want to know about fishing trips. This is the view from Marblehead Lighthouse. If it was clear, you will be able to see more. Out there is Kelly's Island. And we'll just do a panoramic view of the entire lighthouse. So you can see the entire view all the way around its perimeter. And this is the museum that's at the lighthouse site.